Hello everybody, I'm back for another video and uh, I'm really excited actually to bring you uh, this particular video because it was really fun to make and uh, actually learned some things while uh, making it. Um, so we're going to be doing some uh, forensics on a hotel of all things uh, and it's called the Ponce de Leon Hotel. It's in St. Augustine, Florida. And uh, we're told it was built in 1888. Um, and uh, it's claimed it was built by this millionaire, uh, Henry Flagler, who's also apparently, he uh, was the Standard Oil co-founder along with John D. Rockefeller. And the other interesting thing uh, to keep in mind here is that this is a 540 room hotel. So it is, uh, oh, and it's uh, built in the Spanish Renaissance architecture style. So what caught my attention initially uh, with regards to this hotel, uh, there's a site I like to go to called shorby.com and it's a collection of uh, historic photos. And um, they even have it sorted by cities, so they'll have, you know, all these different historic historical photos, and you can click on any of these, and they'll show you all the photos for that. So uh, it, this is a good source that uh, you can look at if you're interested in the, in photos. But um, what caught my attention about this particular hotel is I was going through this archive. And there's a, a picture from 1897. So when you click on it, it opens up. And uh, the good thing about these images, when you click again, uh, you get a real HD image and it expands. So what caught my attention immediately was um, you've got these two antennae here. Um, these two uh, two poles with the orbs on the top of them. So right away I was curious. And then um, if you scroll over here, uh, you see another one. I mean they've got they've converted it into a flagpole. So my interest was was piqued. But then as I looked a bit further, I saw these. And this thing so I mean I I just uh, when I saw this I I knew I had seen this somewhere before and I couldn't figure it out and uh, for a good three days it just it bothered me and finally uh, I matched this so there's this place called st. Mark's Basilica in Venice, Italy, and uh, let's see if I can do this here. So this is the uh, Ponce de Leon Hotel, and this is St. Mark's Basilica, and uh, as you can see here, very similar things on the top of this uh, most likely machine and it's got three, uh, I'm going to call these Wi-Fi antennas. Um, I've got some more images here. Here's a close-up. And uh, just for reference here, very similar. And this, I mean, this is in Italy. And this is supposed to be a Spanish-influenced structure. And we have these similarities. And I think there's one more photo. So uh, there's two of the poles again with the little orbs at the end of them. But yeah, this one's a little funky, but this one's almost an identical match. Um, so straight away, now I was pretty pleased that I could at least match that up. So I decided, well, you know what? Since we match that, let's. Let's look inside. Let's see what we can find on the inside of this place. 
So there is a uh, uh, just a random website I found, and it had uh, various pictures from the inside of the um, of the hotel. So I was looking at various rooms, and it's beautiful architecture inside. Um, but what caught my eye as I was scrolling down here is this. Uh, this isn't a ballroom. <clears throat> this is a fireplace. And what caught my eye is this right here. Um, there are there are a lot of blogs that uh, are coming out of Russia and a lot of good research is coming out of Russia and they focus on uh, one of the articles that they that I saw on a blog uh, which was in Russian um, it talked about these fireplaces how they're not actually wood burning they're, they're using free energy um, principles and um, one of these blogs is called by a guy named tech underscore dancer and I'll leave a link to the, to the blog and you can use I'm using Google Translate here but when you look at buildings that are Renaissance style um, a lot of them what you'll notice is there'll be these two devices and a very shallow um, fireplace and usually there's a plate back here so again two devices and there's a plate uh, you can't oh here we go these two devices here there's a plate back here again two devices they took the plates been taken out of this one uh, two devices that's where the plate would go here's a great example two devices a plate uh, again two devices plate so this isn't like this makes no sense to burn wood in it, you know uh, it's too shallow um, it uh, so what they're pointing out here here's another example with the plate but uh, it's missing the two uh, items and this is from the blog so um, here's two of these uh, two of the uh, little antennas here they're speculating that somehow these uh, these devices are emitting energy off of and heating this plate and this plate is in turn uh, radiating the heat um, that this one they put a radiator in front of it but you can see the plates behind it they took out the, the two devices but again the plate so I I remember reading this blog but not really kind of you know applying it to anything that I've seen but right here we have the two devices and the plate so this is a free energy fireplace uh, they somehow I don't understand the technology but they're able to harness this energy this somehow it focuses it and distribute this heats up and distributes heat um, so I was uh, glad to make that connection so that was the second thing now this third thing is gonna seem weird but um, it's interesting um, so um, so what I wanted to point out Let's read this little uh, bit here about the hotel. The hotel had electric lights, steam heat, nice, uh, all this stuff, okay. All right, this is the part where my ears perked up. Since standards of the day deemed public bathrooms sufficient, the hotel originally had only one, one, private bathroom and it was in uh, the owner's suite almost immediately after opening it became necessary to add private bathrooms to the hotel rooms okay so 
among the hundred the first night the fir, hundreds of first night guests uh, mrs. Ulysses s grant a, a Vanderbilt a Rockefeller so these are pe these are people with um, mansions maids butlers can you see them queuing up at the public bathroom I think this makes no sense and this stood out to me like this really stood out to me this there were no bathrooms there's 540 was it 540 rooms and you're telling me there's one private bathroom and this is a you know this is catering to the elite so as soon as I saw that I was like okay this this doesn't make sense but then uh, in one of uh, uh, Martin's his uh, vlogs he talked about the Palace of Versailles and apparently in the Palace of Versailles there was a lack of toilets there were hardly any toilets at Versailles and with a court counting several thousand people it turned out to be more than a little problem uh, the servants people would occasionally relieve themselves in corners and courtyards um, visitors including Horace Walpole complained about the awful smell that hung over everything Thanks to the many reports of ambassadors and foreign visitors, the splendid palace became known as one of the filthiest in the world. Not exactly what had been expected. The problem became so acute that Louis XIV put a new rule in place, according to which the hallways were to be cleansed for uh, feces and dirt once a week. Okay, so, oh, where are we at here? <clears throat> Excuse me, okay. Here we have a situation where we have these bathrooms, uh, these buildings, and I left this for last because now that you know, like, there's free energy built into this, uh, this hotel, you realize, like, we didn't build this building. Um, it was built by this previous civilization version pre you know, pre-cataclysm. And they knew what they were doing, obviously. They understood free energy. They built this amazing, uh, they built this amazing place. And, um, yet they forgot to put bathrooms in it. And now we, uh, we have a similar situation with the Palace of Versailles, a, an amazing structure where they forgot to put toilets in it so we have we have a pattern here and i think the question now is i know it seems silly but the question is probably are these places being misdescribed to us like they're calling this uh, the ponce de leon a hotel but maybe it wasn't even though it had 540 rooms or it has um, maybe it was designed for something else um, I don't know what that is at the moment but you know we're right now we're just collecting puzzle pieces and pretty soon we'll have enough to uh, understand what's going on but I'm just fascinated that you know we can make this connection now and I bet if you look at old buildings um, that uh, that are we're told our hotels from the 1800s I bet you you're gonna find the same situation so I guess I will leave it here um, but I just uh, want to encourage you guys to uh, if you guys have your own thoughts about videos you know there you guys leave a lot of good comments so there's a lot of great ideas out there so please yeah put those videos up and, and we'll try and figure out what's going on so uh, I guess that's it for now Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good day.